Hello, friends. I have uh, this workflow here for you with its uh, style transfer, or better said, style conversion workflow with control net and simple text prompts. All it does is, yeah, it converts one image to an image with another style. Watercolors here. It works as usual. You drag in an image, adjust the prompt, press Q, and then you get the result. Let's have a closer look at the workflow. I have this wonderful wall of text here at the left side. Um, I'm a lazy guy, I don't want to search around for styles, so I made me a few buzzwords here. So, let's say we want to produce an acrylic image. Here we go. Acrylic. Let's go back to watercolors, my favorite method here. For the models, make sure to use an SD 1.5 model. The control net is made for SD 1.5 and you choose something else, then you get an error. Let's say, for example, Juggernaut is an XL model. And this will throw an error now. So, as told, make sure to use an SD 1.5 model. Here we go. When you see this error, then you know you have the wrong model. Keep the prompt simple. What you can do is to add informations like, let's say we want to have it a bit more green. But in general, you should really care to just type in the style since the prompt matters. I use two control net instances here. Let's remove the green here. The one is uh, the tile method, it brings in the painting and the depth control net makes sure to retain the shape. When I turn this off here, then I get a more free result in the shape area. This might be sometimes good, but as you can see, the cat face, it completely loses the cat face and this is why I use the control net here death method. Let's say we want to use Keith Haring. This is an artist where the shape plays a big role. So in this case, it would be the better result in my opinion. Let's turn it on just to compare. It has not so much freedom anymore. It as told depends how you want it to be. Let's turn this back to watercolors. You can influence the effect of the conversion by the config value. Let's say you use a value of 2, a very low value, then the effect will also be much lower. And when you choose a very high value, then the K-sampler has much more artistic freedom and the result will be much more artistic. I found 8 to be a good value. The sampler I have in the workflow chosen the res multi-step. The differences are not this big, but they are there. So toy around which sampler fits best to your needs. Res multi-step is relatively new. And that was basically it. It is a really easy workflow. Have fun.